Tony, commiserations on the defeat tonight. Obviously, a disappointing night at the office. What did you make of your side's performance? Oh, looking you know, at the the result, probably um, probably showcases a lot of the season in uh, key moments. Both boxes, you know, like defensively, we're getting punished, um, and in attack, we're not we're not taking those key moments when we get opportunities, and then. Uh, Ultimately, we're always um, chasing, you know. So, you know, first half I didn't think was very good from us. I thought physically they were much better um, in terms of the challenges, the things that first ball, second ball, I thought they were better. But, you know, we can see a very soft goal. and uh, But the reaction was good, really good. And then when we were on top, you know, we found a way to concede another soft goal, you know, that's... And um, so it's a soft goal, but yet it shows the quality of Prijevic. You know, it's one chance. Give him one chance and he puts it away. So um, while at the other end we're in the moment, uh, we've got great opportunities to score and we just lack that composure, quality to put it away. Putting aside finals for one sec, you've talked to us before about looking to try to find the answers, the right combinations to start turning these performances and these games into wins. Mm. Are there, how many more options do you have left? Are there still different things you can try to start getting just wins on the board, regardless of what happens with finals and the like? Well, look, you know, there's, you know, we, we've got, we've had a lot of players out. Look, a lot, lot of things have happened throughout the year. Um, you know, we've missed a lot of key personnel, but you know, the players, the team's not performing poorly. So that's, in particular, since the Wellington game. So we're not performing poorly, but we're not taking advantage of the moments when we're on top. Uh, and in both boxes, clearly we haven't been good enough. That's it, in both boxes. You know, we, we don't give away many opportunities. That's clear. Um, but we find a way to concede. So we're not good enough there. And in attack, when we get opportunities, we don't score. So... In those two areas has been our downfall because the rest um, we more than compete with everyone, uh, but in the two boxes over the course of the season we, we haven't been good enough. Um, finals probably are out of the equation now. Unfortunately, I think three wins outside the top six with about mm -hmm. seven games to go. How, how do you sort of approach the the remainder of the season? Do you do you sort of still have hope that you can make it or? Uh, look, the the season's a, another thing. We have to we have to approach Central Coast first on Sunday. We got we got to find a way to put in you know turn these uh, good performances you know because you know you don't come back that way if you haven't got character. You don't come back that way if you haven't got quality in the team. Um, but you know the key moments are, are hurting us, and you know we're obviously going through a difficult period. Did it sort of I mean. Pretty given the stakes tonight. Did, uh, you seem the, the team seemed to have a bit of a, I guess, a lacklustre start to the game. The energy wasn't there. It obviously, turned around the second half, big time. But did mm. you, were you sort of surprised by the way your boys started the game, given what was at stake? Ah, oh, well then, what are you what are you suggesting that they didn't want to start well? Or? No, no, just um, I'm, I'm sure they wanted to, but just yeah, but that it, can it, happen. That yeah. can happen in a game. Yeah, we, you know, we were outstanding last week from start to finish, and we lost. You know, it can happen. Um, the key is to get through those moments when you don't feel good or you're going through a, a, a difficult period. And, um, you know, we, we unfortunately conceded, you know. But, you know, prior to that, you know, we have Nishan in the box three yards out and we don't put that chance away or we don't set someone up to score. So we get in areas that really we need to be more clinical. And our opponents this year are showing that they're more clinical than us. And as I said... Both boxes, we, we haven't been good enough. Tony, you've pretty consistently, after maybe performances or losses that haven't gone, or performances that haven't gone your way, regardless, um, taking responsibility and saying it's on you as the coach at Melbourne Victory. Do you feel supported and back to turn this around? Well, do you feel backed by the club? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I, I, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I don't feel any different. I mean, you know, in the end, if the if the club decides that. I'm not the person for the job, then that's that's for them to decide. But um, no, I don't I don't feel any of that. But um, yeah. I start listening to your answers, Tony, it sounds like you, you're getting the balls into the right positions inside the box. Structurally, you set up defensive uh, defensively well. It's just these little errors. Is it a matter of personnel? Is it going to be have to something that you look at maybe in the off season that? 
the structure and the shape is there, just maybe you need to bring in a few different players and move a few players on to find that? Is that... Well, I think is that there, there are a whole range of things. You know, it's, it would be wrong to just uh, pinpoint one thing. We have to, at the end of the season, assess everything from start to finish. Uh, we have had, uh, unfortunately, key personnel out throughout the whole year, um, senior players for injuries that are not soft tissue, but they've been all long-term injuries. Uh, you know, like our you know, front three, if you have a look, like Nick's not there, Jakey's not there, Marco Rojas is not there. That was a three that played regularly last year. Uh, we don't have that. So there, there have been a lot of changes for a lot of uh, injuries that we can't control. Um, but yeah, we, we, we have to assess everything. I think the template is there. The template is there. Um, but, you know, confidence as well affects players. And, you know, when you go in front, the confidence builds. When you're playing well and you go behind again, then it's another test. Um, at the moment, we're with results. I don't think the performances have been poor, but with results, we're going through a difficult period. And, um, you know, we've we just got to keep working and, and go again on Sunday. Um, so at half time, when you brought on Romero and, and Ray, it looked, mm -hmm. actually looked like you gave you a real jolt and sort of spark the, the resurgence in the team. Mm -hmm. We might look at maybe mixing up a bit in the next few weeks based on that as well. Yeah, I think you, you know, you've got to assess where Ray's been for seven weeks. You know, when you're out for concussion, it's not just you're out. You actually don't train at all. So, you know, you've got to look at the welfare of the player. Romero's a young player that's come in and, um, you know, he's, he's adapting. He's getting better. He had two wonderful chances. And I think maybe that just shows where he's at. He's a young player that, you know, with um, a bit more experience, may walk those balls into the keeper and actually slot him away. But his movement shows he's got quality. Getting away from the defender shows he has quality. But obviously, a next step for a young player. It reminds me a lot of Nick D'Agostino. You know, two years before Nick left for us, he probably would have finished the same way as the kid did. Two years later, Nick is now in Europe and was, you know, our number one striker last year. So the kid's at that stage. Unfortunately, we needed him to take a chance today when, we, when it was 1-1. Um, I think Bruno had a great chance as well if he could have turned a bit quicker to put it away. So those things are not going and they'd go down the other end and um, improve its scores. So um, we've just got to keep, keep working, keep fighting. And, um, you know, I believe if it clicks, it can click really well and, and we can score a lot of goals. Um, but at the moment, we're going through a difficult moment and, and we've got to work our way through it. Just on Bruno briefly, Tony. Um, he felt like, especially in that second half, was a real shining light, the way he was moving, obviously had the free kick as well. Does it feel like if he can keep on keeping on with what he's starting to produce, that can give you that sort of maybe centrepiece to work around, having obviously lost Nick earlier in the season? Yeah, I think, look, Bruno's, Bruno's been great for us. His work rate, his experience. Um, yeah, against Sydney, you know, he worked his backside off for us. Um, Today he scored a wonderful goal. I think he should have scored that one if he could have turned a bit quicker. You know what I mean? But, you know, he's, he's given everything. And uh, it's not about effort or commitment from the group. The group's giving their heart and soul. Um, but we have to find a little bit more than that. And, uh, and that's key moments and maybe calmness and clarity in those moments. But both boxes, as I said, it's not just uh, attacking is the easy one to just say we need to score more goals. But... You know, if you keep conceding soft goals, whether that's just two shots a game or whether it's 20, um, you know, you'll always find it hard to, to win a game of football. Just have you avoided any more injuries today? Uh, from what I know at the moment, we're, we're OK for, for Sunday. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.